I knew this girl this one time. Let's call her Amber because that was her name. She used to eat veal like all the time, which is baby cows. So it made me think, are like babies veal to like cannibals? Took it too far. Anyway. How old are you? But, like how? In years. 22. Why? Oh, okay, Casey, that's enough. Come on, let's take a walk, all right? She was mean. Yeah, 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 she was. I think she was on a period or something. Probably. Courage, kid, and lie down when you grow up. So, how'd it go? Not great. She asked me if I had a learning disability. I think she was on her period or something. Great story. I worked on it. Tonight just isn't your night, man. Nah, it's like one of those unexplainable things. Like electricity. Or, or communism. Both are pretty explainable. Maybe you should try talking about those things instead of making up random lies. What lies? Everything you've been saying. We've known you for the past 16 years. I mean, we've known you since elementary school. All those stories you're saying never happened. It's just a complete bullshit lead up to a punchline of what you think is funny. And they're not punchlines, they're just lies. Eat a dick. Hey, hey there's the Casey we know and love. Welcome back, buddy. Hey. Hey. You know what, you gotta stop letting these girls get to you. you. You just gotta be yourself. Stop telling lies and just, you know, be normal. Everyone, it's pretty obvious to everyone they're just bullshit lies. Really? Really. Yeah. Shit. It's all right, man. Let me... You just need to find someone new to talk to and be yourself and stuff, okay? I mean, that approach hasn't worked for me for the last, like, 22 years. <laughs> yeah, well, neither has this new one tonight. That's true. You know what? How about you go and make the name tag that we were supposed to have for Seth to wear tonight? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kristen, would you mind helping Casey make a name tag that Seth has to wear the rest of the night? Fuck you. Sure. I mean, it's not like there's anyone interesting to talk to out here anyway. Gee, thanks. I didn't mean you guys, I just meant- Damn, baby, nice ass. <laughs> what was your name? Tyler. Thanks, asshole. Yeah, how, you should go now. But no, seriously, dude. I... Just, just turn around, walk away. You're making things worse. Dude, try finding someone who's actually drunk. Oh. Let's go make that name tag case. No, I'll be good. It's okay. You need to get laid worse than I do. And you can't do that if you're doing arts and crafts with me. No, I want to, sweetie. Everyone out here is comes No, it's okay. It's numbers game. It's not really a numbers game when you stop and think about it, Case. I mean, it doesn't work that way. It can't be a numbers game for both parties. Either way, you do a lot of flirting with Seth and Ian, but in the end, you go to bed alone. Wow, you're really perceptive, hon. I kind of like to fly under the radar. If people don't expect much out of you, then there's not high expectations. It's a lifestyle of lowered expectations. It's kind of peaceful, actually. I like a weed smoking Buddha. Yeah. I'm gonna go make a name tag for you now. Make sure Kristen talks to some guys. She needs to be happy. That kid is one of the genuinely sweetest people I know. Why do you think we like him so much? He's really the best out of all of us. You know, he's not jaded or mean. And because of that, we have to you know, protect him a little bit. What's that? Well, it's Casey. Huh. What does he say? Quit talking about me and go and get laid. <laughs> He's such a great friend! Uh, you haven't seen your name tag yet. Eh, that's not important. Anyways, let's get laid, yeah? Really? I mean, you guys. You two. Huh? Not 
not really a good liar, sweetie. Ah, uh, you say that, but I was the one who slept with your roommate and your sister for two months without anyone in the house knowing about it until today. You might want to think about what you say before you say it. Really? This is going to be the example that you use, that you're a good liar, that you're fucking my sister. Is this the hill you want to die on? So, you getting laid, yes, hmm? Nice conversation. Not really, but I'm going to let it go because that's so desperate right now. You and me both. I mean, if you guys are both so desperate, why don't you just sleep with each other? Yeah, nah, I no, just... I mean, come on, there's, there's enough sexual, t sexual tension in the house already. Why don't you two just bang it out? Well, there's a really good chance that when I do settle down and get married, it'll lead to Ian. So having a one-night stand before that would possibly ruin the best thing to ever happen. Oh. I didn't even... I, yeah, ni neither did I. Well, now you do. So how long until we can... I don't know. One or two years. 10 or 15 guys, whichever comes first. So what you're telling me is you need to sleep with like 10 guys and then we can get married and live happily ever after and all that stuff of your own free will. So, hey! Have you met Kristen? Yay! Hey. 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 Wait. No, seriously. Okay, wait, Ian. Seriously, you didn't just... Hey, have you met Kristen? I mean, this isn't how I met your mother. This what? isn't something that works like that. What am I supposed to do? I mean, that is my future wife right there. And if she needs to sleep with, you know, sleep with all these dudes and bang the wild out of her system so we can get married, I'm going to help that along. That sentence is so fucked up, but it makes so much sense. Oh, boom, bitch! Oh my god, it's perfect. Well done, sir. Thank no, no, you, no, 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 this is, no, this is too ah, mean. Ah, you agreed to it. Ah. Uh, Casey, I've never been more proud of you. Yeah, you're a bitch, huh? I'm sorry, Damien. I didn't catch that. What'd you say? <laughs> I love everything about this. My wife. Future wife. You know, shut up, Damien. Damn <laughs> <laughs> it.